Hello everyone, Trix here and welcome back to Super Mario 64. <laughs> yeah, I'm shaking a little bit because <laughs> the game seems to be broken. <laughs> now it's just a camera that uh, can't really interact with this corridor. It doesn't seem to like this corridor. <laughs> but anyway, last time we got started with course number 9, Dire Dire Docks. Which we actually needed to go into in order to unlock uh, this uh, extended corridor where Bowser's true level actually takes place. Dire Dire Docks is actually still accessible as you can see, it just moved a little bit further to the back. But before we can uh, completely finish that place, we first need to take care of Bowser, because uh, there's a couple of things that need to change up in the level before we can change it, uh, before we can fully complete it. And for that, Bowser needs to be kicked out of here. So we're going to do that first, actually. I didn't plan on doing that, but... Um, I actually found out you have to, because uh, there is something that cannot be cheesed <laughs> in Dire Dire Docks. Even though I would want to, <laughs> you know how much I like my cheese. But, um, yeah, we're kind of forced to defeat Bowser first. So, welcome to Bowser in the Fire Sea, as this place is officially called. The second Bowser stage, after being kicked out of the Dark World, we are now in the Fire Sea. So, hopefully you've... Uh, Practice your lethal lava land. Because we're back in a fiery furnace, as you can see. A lot of lava surrounding us. And of course, red coins to grab. While we make our way to the top, where Bowser waits for us once again. Okay, let's uh, start cheesing again. As you can see, we need to climb that pole in order to um, get to the platform above it. However, this is way more fun. <laughs> Can't resist. Okay, there's a red coin up here. Try to avoid this life. <laughs> this is actually one of the few lives in this game that uh, follows you around. I wasn't able to um, show off what I wanted to. But uh, we'll get another chance. There's more of th those kinds of lives that are going to appear in later places. But every, um, what I tried to do was um, crouch. Because the one-ups that uh, try to follow you around actually all only follow you around at the um, height of Mario's head, you might say. So if you start crawling, you can actually avoid getting that one-up. <laughs> it's really funny to see, actually. Perhaps even for the better that I'm unable to show it off here, because um, of the cage, you wouldn't have been able to see it properly anyway. But there's more chances later on, so it doesn't really matter. Oh. <laughs> we both missed each other. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> It's actually even more fun to kick him off on this side, so he actually falls down really far. <laughs> Pretty funny to uh, see him fall, and then a few seconds later suddenly hearing... Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> but even that returns from Lethal, lethal Lava Land. This really is Lethal Lava Land Part 2, <laughs> you might say. Even the bullies are here. Over this platform, you need to be quick! <laughs> Or simply miss the platform. <laughs> because as you can see, this one actually uh, moves up and down by retracting and then extending again. And only when it's uh, all the way at the top you can actually uh, reach this platform. I always try to um, rush my way up there after grabbing the red coin. Because for the red coin you also need to wait for it to get higher up. And after you grab that red coin, it's actually really hard to get to the end of the platform in time before it retracts again. <laughs> and even today I was unable to do so. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It is still... Oh, oops. <laughs> Always fun to try. Okay, final red coin up here. Careful how you jump, because as you can see these things sink into the lava, so... They can hurt you if you're not careful. Let's move to the star. The best way to get up there, because as you can see, it's spawned all the way up here, is to just wall jump your way up here, but you can obviously only do it from this angle, because of needing two walls. <laughs> here we go. But okay, there we go. Another castle secret star, because obviously this falls under the category of castle secret stars. Grab the one up, because why not? And let's go to the Bowser fight. No a traditional pipe this time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go in here. 
it's always uh, funny to try to get Mario to slide in this thing, thing for as long as possible. <laughs> also a challenge I always make for myself. And trust me, if I want to, I'm able to keep this up indefinitely. But I don't want to because it's a let's play, so let's go in. <laughs> Bowser, part two. Pestering me again, are you, Mario? Can't you see that I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions? Now return these stars. My troops in the walls need them. <laughs> oh, so that's why they're in the walls. Your troops actually need them. <laughs> but what for? Anyway, he has a new attack. As you can see, he tries to um, knock us off the platform by... Um, jumping on it and if I throw him off you will see whenever he jumps back it will also get that effect of uh, tilting the arena so that is actually uh, a new thing for him <laughs> in this second fight there's actually a couple of more annoying attack attacks he has but I'll try to prevent him from using them let's just take care of him because he actually spins around a little bit quicker in this um, Fight, so it's a little bit harder to get behind him in the traditional sense and also his fire attack uh, changed up a little bit he actually starts shooting blue fire which actually homes in on in, in on you so um, make sure he doesn't get the chance to do that <laughs> Ooh, can it be that I've lost the power of the stars has failed me this time it also did the previous time but still <laughs> consider this a draw next time I'll be in perfect condition now, if you want to see your princess, your precious princess, <laughs> come to the top of the tower. I'll be waiting there. <laughs> We're not going there quite yet. We still need to finish off course 9. Because of your silly business with the submarine there, we first needed to get rid of you here. <laughs> but at least the key we have. Bowser in the fire sea is completed. But before we can officially say... The second phase of the castle, the basement part, is finished. We first need to take care of course number 9. Now that Bowser is away, we can finally complete this place fully. Because grabbing the first star actually unlocks the Bowser stage. But defeating Bowser will actually unlock a couple of other things here. Some of them required in order to get some stars. Does not apply to this one. Just in the current we can normally grab even before. Defeating Bowser, even before uh, grabbing the first star, in fact. <laughs> but anyway, you might have noticed there are four chests in this first room. And also, a current, a whirlpool that's trying to suck us in, as you can see. If we do nothing, we get sucked into the middle. And that's actually the challenge here. But anyway, grab this chest over here, that's near the clam, that's the first one. And then make a counterclockwise round across this room. Grabbing the second and third chest. The fourth one being on top of that uh, platform, as you can see. Close to the maelstrom. Really dangerous stuff. Larger gold's the final one. Come on, Mario. Grab the chest. Pretty sure I touched it. <laughs> okay. And now for the real challenge. The closer you are to the middle, the uh, stronger the suction is. And this chest actually forces us, because of the lock being on this side, to actually swim towards the whirlpool before we can actually open the chest, making it extra challenging. Because if you miss the chest, it's pretty easy to not miss the whirlpool. <laughs> whirlpool, current, maelstrom. Man, I called it a lot of things in this episode. <laughs> Chests in the current. Star number 69. Let's make it around 70. By grabbing the 100 coin star and the 8 red coin star. Because th th that's going to be combined once again. Pull jumping for red coins. And this star is in fact one we actually wanted to be defeat Bowser for. Because with Bowser's submarine in the second room. Remember that from the first star in the previous episode. It is actually impossible to grab star number 3. And it's also impossible to combine this 100 coin star with something else than the red coin star. Because this course is actually the one that is um, the hardest one in order to get 100 coins in. Course number 9 barely gives you 100 coins. You actually have to combine the 100 coin star with the red coin star here. I'm not really sure about this exact number, but I'm pretty sure there is 103 or 104 coins in this course. Barely enough in order to get 100 coins. 
even though there aren't really too difficult to grab. But there are barely enough. That's basically um, the reason why it's uh, so tricky to get um, 100 coins here. Making it impossible to combine it with another star. Unless you're just grabbing the 100 coins separately that you of course can always do. But for efficiency reasons I always combine it with another star and in this course you can only do that with the red coin star because you're really dependent on the red coins in this mission since you can't miss a single one of those basically if you want uh, to reach 100 coins. But okay, 42 coins we need to grab in the first room. Never going to forget that number. <laughs> After um, struggling with this 100 coin star so many times when I was younger, I never forget the first room has 42 coins. <laughs> but anyway, the second star, or the second room, you'll notice something different. Bowser submarine is gone. Yeah, basically the submarine you can basically say was uh, the way Bowser actually got to this basement area. With, but with him defeated and uh, moved on towards the top of the castle, you might say, he took his submarine and left again. And this is how he left. Remember this uh, hole? Which wasn't the hole the last time we saw it. But now it is. And it's actually a way to exit this level. And not in a way I want to <laughs> right now. Don't worry, I will show it off. But, um... Fun fact about this thing, it actually also tries to suck you in, kind of like the current in the first room. Even the second room has something to suck you in. <laughs> the moment you get too close to it, it will, it will actually try to suck you out of the level. And you won't lose life and uh, respawn at the uh, lobby of this um, course. You actually get thrown out of the castle if you uh, exit the course through this hole. So. Be careful, don't get too, uh, too greedy with the coins that are near it, because um, if you try to grab the top coins there, you usually are unable to escape the um, suction of that um, exit hole for the submarine, which will also become an exit hole for Mario. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll try to show it off uh, the moment I'm done here. But for now, let's just focus on the coins. There's a couple of them at the bottom, as you can see. And trail 5 near that hole, but too dangerous to grab all of them. Especially those top ones usually uh, try to grab you. <sighs> Not you grabbing the coins, but the coins grabbing you by saying, Hey, there's a current here, you cannot escape. <laughs> you obviously need to restart the entire mission again if you uh, do that. But okay, another change about this area, and that's the whole reason why you want Bowser Submarine gone. The eight red coins are actually up top there, as you can see. Alongside with these um, lifts that we can use in order to access that area with the platforms. Those actually do not appear the moment Bowser Submarine is still present. So, make sure Bowser Submarine is gone. Otherwise, grabbing red coins here, and therefore also the 100 coins, since you can't miss these, <laughs> will be impossible. Because you can see uh, these are jumps you cannot make without these lifts. So if these aren't present, you're not getting very far in this area. And this is the whole reason why I wanted Bowser defeated before I did this. <laughs> Even though normally you would say, come on, clear course 9 before taking on Bowser. He should be the final thing you do after uh, before leaving this place. No, my friend, you simply can't. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this one first because there's actually some funny little glitch I'd like to show off. Oh, another, another fun fact. You can see star number one, even though the submarine is gone. But the star for board Bowser stop is actually still present. <laughs> so you can try to grab it if you want. If you can find a way to jump there. <laughs> Some way, somehow. Okay. Blue switch. Required. Cannot skip this. <laughs> you can imagine if you miss a single one of these, it's impossible to reach 100 coins. Because I'm at 97, and that one is 99, 101, and I missed three coins at that um, hole down below because I was too afraid to grab those. <laughs> so indeed, there's a total of 104 coins. The lowest amount of all courses, and therefore, per definition, the trickiest to get 100 of them, since you can only miss four of them. And usually a couple of these uh, are the coins down there. <laughs> Since there's a trick key to grab. The bottom ones usually uh, still work out, but especially those top ones. 
I'll try to show it off the moment uh, I'm done here and actually deliberately uh, go in that hole. I'll try to also show off why it's an unwise idea to go for the top two. If usually you're unable to escape the current, which is really, really strong. Oh, and I actually missed one red coin in my uh, calculation, so <laughs> there's actually two more coins here. There's 106 coins in this course. <laughs> Still the least amount, so it doesn't change my uh, statement. But okay, these final two are actually really annoying to grab, because as you can see, we need to get in sync with this uh, final lift over here before we can jump there. And hopefully I'm not going to grab the star. Okay, luckily I didn't, because I first want to grab this red coin. So, and that one gives me the red coin star. And now let's show off something funny. If you grab this star while on this lift, this will happen. <laughs> Mario instantly teleports to the bottom. <laughs> and we also received the 70 power star message. <laughs> while Mario is standing on the bottom of this pool. <laughs> You found 70 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved, thanks to you. And it's Bowser ever upset. Now, on to the final bout. I have no idea. <laughs> we instantly transported the service. <laughs> but anyway, I have no idea what they were talking about with endless stairs. We don't really have the context for that now. We'll be seeing that later. But, um... Yeah, we did um, fall down because of that uh, silly little glitch. <laughs> we need to make our way up there. Not really losing too much time. Because, um, oh, come on. Even if we didn't um, fall down, we still would have been uh, required to make our way back to that other island. So that didn't take too much longer. Okay, but anyway, we're here. Funny glitches aside. But it's the only way to grab the 100 coin star in this course. Make sure you're f grabbing the star while holding on to one of those balls. <laughs> so Mario instantly transports to the bottom. And then after the star message is done, instantly transports to the surface again. <laughs> Through the jet stream is star number four. And this one is actually taking place in an area we've already seen earlier. Only this time we're actually grabbing it. The moment you enter the second room of this course, you usually find the first thing your eye falls on being that uh, water current at the bottom, right over there. But of course, how do we deal with this thing? Maybe the next question. It's quite obvious. As you can see, there's a couple of rings coming out of this thing. And those rings, we need to swim through. Five in a row. Two, three, four, and five. If you actually miss one, you actually uh, reset this, th this thing and you need to try again. They have to be in a row, so if you uh, for some reason miss one of the rings, the next one you will grab is not going to be the next one on the counter. You'll have to start with one again. It have to be five in a row. But anyway, I hear you thinking. Remember course number three, Jolly Roger Bay, where we cheesed one of these uh, water currents by swimming fast enough in order to grab the star without making use of the metal cap? You're tempted to do that again. However, as you can see, this star is a little bit deeper into the current. For this one, I am pretty sure it's impossible to cheese. <laughs> But since we didn't do it the regular way, uh, the first time through, might as well show off what is the intended way. It works the same in Jolly Roger Bay, so you can see this is the same one, you might say. Grab the metal cap in Jolly Roger Bay next to the switch used in order to access the ship. And here you can find it here. And if you're metal, you're not affected by the current, and the star is yours. And there we go. Okay, I'm not really able to finish off this course today. Let's get the wonky camera again. <laughs> it's the only way to play in this corridor. Dire, dire docks corridor with the wonky camera. <laughs> but anyway, um, it took a little bit longer than I thought, so we're going to finish it off next time. See you folks, and then... Dreeks out!